Well, a retired fighter pilot turned public speaker will teach students in the upstate about leadership this morning. It's happening at Broad Street United Methodist Church in Clinton, and 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is there to tell us all about it. Hey, Christine. <laughs> We are. We're having fun. Lots of students coming in right now. We should also mention from Presbyterian College. We didn't mention that this morning. Carl, Carl Sharperson here, and it is the 41st annual community prayer breakfast at Broad Street Methodist Church. We're so glad to be here. I've got a lot of students again coming in to see Carl speak. A leadership uh, innovation strategist. I love the title, Carl, but you are so many things. A veteran and now involved in corporate leadership. You've got leadership roles and in all all of these different things you've done in your life, but now talking about leadership and its importance to students. How does all this relate and benefit the community? It does. Well, I do some um, consulting with corporate America. I do some professional recruiting, mm -hmm. and all of it ties together. The lessons that I learned growing up playing sports, being in the military, uh, and it all applies to life. I love it. We're looking at some photos of you right now and older and recent photos. All of these experiences, I'm sure, contribute to what you say to students. They do. They do. And it all applies to everybody. Everybody can relate. Everybody at some point in time in their life has been bullied. Right? Everybody wants to be appreciated. Everybody wants to be loved. Uh, and everybody wants to lead by example or follow someone that's leading by example. Do you like speaking to students? Is this something you look forward I to? I do. I do. I get grounded when I talk to students. Uh -oh. I always learn more from them than they learn from me. That's my mission. And you said they're honest. Them. They are honest. You like that? No filters. <laughs> what, what's, what comes up comes out. Oh, very good. Well, we thank you. You're going to have an influence on them this morning for sure as they get some breakfast behind us in just a few minutes. They're going to move in to an auditorium area in the sanctuary. We're going to move in there too. And we'll give you that live picture in the 7 o'clock on CW, guys. We'll send it back to you. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Christine. Well, March is colon cancer.